this is the Miss Universe Philippines Lady, the Grand Coronation Night. Angel Rose, come put on ball, La Paz. Watch me. Goldilocks is Miss. You are right, Miss La Paz. Tanusa Dental Care Award goes to Miss. You are very right, Miss La And our Miss Weaves and Bows goes to Miss. To the balloons over there, Miss La Paz! <laughs> Miss Can Billows and Training is Miss! Miss La Paz! La Paz tonight and the final 
spots in the top 10 belongs to Miss La Paz! Hi, I am Angel Rose Campo Tambal and I will be representing the town Trailblazing Women, Municipality of La Paz. As a civil engineer, I'm an advocate in empowering communities to sustainable tourism. It's not just about building infrastructure, it's about creating destinations that respect nature, culture, and people. By working hand in hand with local communities, we can create tourism experiences that preserve the environment generate livelihood, and celebrate the uniqueness of each place. So together, let's build bridges of opportunities, roads to a brighter future, and pathways to sustainable growth. Miss La Paz! Thank you. Hello, Miss La Paz. Do you also want to give a very special shout out to all your supporters in that corner? Hi, Pauline. Good evening, everyone. I would like to grab this opportunity to thank all the La Paz non community who are here right now, especially to my parents, to my DPWH family. Thank you so much for your support. I hope that their cheers and their support give you all the energy and strength and courage that you need because it is your turn to pick a question from the bowl. Ms. La Paz, you picked question number 14. What message would you like to convey to young girls aspiring to be on the stage that you are on today? Again, what message would you like to convey to young girls aspiring to be on this same stage that you're on today? The message that I would like to convey to young girls is to don't stop in believing in yourself. Because I myself, growing up, I've always wanted to become a civil engineer. However, I've experienced discrimination, but it never stopped me to achieve my dreams and goals in life. So as I stand here, I'd like to amplify my voice and my message that we women, we are competent and we are capable. So through this, we could foster a community where everyone's voices will be heard and celebrated. Beautifully said. Thank you so much for your message. Earning spot number three is Miss La Paz. And she goes Miss La Paz. Hello, Miss La Paz. I believe you brought your entire municipality with you. Yes, thank you so much to the municipality of La Paz. I'm really grateful for the love and support that you've been giving to me. It is my source of strength as I represent our beloved municipality. Miss La Paz, are you ready to answer your final question for tonight? The recent removal of age limits in the Miss Universe pageant challenges traditional norms. How do you believe this impacts society's perception of what a beauty pageant truly represents? Again, the, re the recent removal of the age limits in the Miss Universe pageant challenges traditional norms. How do you believe this impacts society's perception of what a beauty pageant truly represents. I really do appreciate the Miss Universe organization in promoting women inclusivity. So as beauty pageants, we are given a platform to inspire positive change. And as a transformational leader, I would use this platform to showcase that we women, we are not only showcasing our beauty, we are using this platform to inspire positive change. And I believe this is our way in proving that each and every one of us has our own qualities, unique qualities. So as Leitenias and Leitenios, let us continue in showcasing and promoting the beauty of a true Leitenia. Let us remember that as a Leitenia, we are known to have remarkable strength and showcasing it to the universe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
The first Miss Universe Philippines Lady is Miss! Congratulations, Miss! Congratulations, Miss La Paz! Philippines Leipzig!